Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley says she will stay in the presidential race despite new poll numbers that put her almost 30 points behind former President Donald Trump. Heading into Saturday's Republican primary in South, South Carolina, Haley is sharpening her attacks on the former president and the former president not holding back as he responds. Alice Barr has the latest on the race for the White House. For Nikki Haley, a home state stand in South Carolina that she's promising is not her last. South Carolina will vote on Saturday, but on Sunday, I'll still be running for president. I'm not going anywhere. That despite new polling that shows her trailing former President Trump in Saturday's primary by nearly 30 points. The Trump campaign dismissing Haley as irrelevant with no mathematical path to the Republican nomination. I don't think she knows how to get out, actually. Uh, I really don't. As she points to the potential impact of the former president's many legal challenges. My strategy is to make sure that American, that the American people have their voices heard. But it is also acknowledging the realities that he will be in court March and April, May and June. The Supreme Court could rule as soon as today on whether Colorado can bar Mr. Trump from the state's primary ballot because of his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. In a Fox News town hall, the former president again compared his court cases to the death of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny in a Russian prison. It's a horrible thing, but it's happening in our country too. Haley calling it a sign of Mr. Trump's, quote, obsession with himself. Both she and President Biden have slammed him for failing to blame Russian President Vladimir Putin. President Biden announcing major new sanctions are coming to hold Putin accountable, telling supporters at a California fundraiser that Republicans have to decide who they are serving. There are 19 states holding nominating contests in the next two weeks, and so far public polling does not show Nikki Haley leading in any of them. Despite that, her fundraising remains strong for now, giving her the cash to keep sticking it out in this race. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.